What's up guys, Tristan here with Team Red Egg Yu-Gi-Oh! And um, we're going to do some basement discussions because I'm here in my wonderful basement. But we're going to do some discussions today on Link Summoning, the new mechanic that was introduced to us last week that we should be getting, I believe in July or August or something like that. But I've seen a lot of people get very salty on the subject. You know, not going to lie, I was... I, I don't know what to feel when I first saw it, but now that I've seen some replays of like what you can do with it, I think this is actually really good for the game. Now, there's obviously pros and there's cons with change. Um, the biggest con is this is going to make you have to buy the new sets. You have to get the Link Monsters if you want to play any of your extra deck uh, base decks. So, I mean, you're going to have to buy whatever the best Link Monster is that has you know, the most areas for you to summon. So this definitely, as a con, um, you're gonna have to pay more money. And if they make those like secrets, then it's gonna be really expensive. But, you know, that's just that's just what it is. I mean, Konami does that all the time. Desire secret, D-Barrier secret, you know, this isn't different. But um, I think a big pro of this is that this opens up the opportunities for just whole new gameplay. I remember I saw one of the new Pendle Monsters, I think it's, oh, I don't remember which one, but it has an arrow down to two different spots, I believe, and it said uh, neither monster in the linked zone can be targeted. Like, pretty much they're just mad specters now, you know what I mean? So this opens up a lot of opportunities for some busted ass shit. I mean, they could, they can make one where it says, these monsters are unaffected by card effects. You know, they could do all these just added effects that we would never have gotten before. And another thing, this is a pro and a con, but we have six monster zones. So we have the five, then we have the one, the, the extra monster zone, and then the main monster zones. So OTKs are gonna be a lot easier because theoretically you could summon six monsters. So this definitely opens up some opportunities I mean, mermails. I mean, they could summon Abyss Dweller, like on the top main monster zone, then five mermail Atlanteans, just go ham. Um, another thing is, um, I believe that traps are gonna be very, very relevant. Um, Compulse, Torrential, Bottomless, uh, Solemn Brigade, uh, maybe Vanities if it's still around, but now it's, if you can stop your opponent's Link monster, then you pretty much just stop them from going off completely. So, I mean, a lot of people might not like this, but I think it's gonna make the game a lot harder because you can't just you can't just go willy-nilly. You gotta think about what you're doing. If your opponent has three back row, are you really gonna sacrifice putting your Link monster there right away? So I think this changes the game a lot. And I'm going to rant a lot in these videos, these uh, basement discussion videos, but I, I really think that this is a good change for Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, RIP to everyone playing Synchrons, Raid Raptors, um, Black Wings, any deck DVDs that just freaking go ham, but um, you know, that's that's the way of the game. Uh, when Pendulums were introduced, everyone lost their shit. Oh, they're summoning five monsters every single turn? But I mean, look, we, we survived, you know, and I don't know, people are overreacting. Uh, you, need a, you need to embrace the change. You need to adapt. If you truly like this game, you will adapt. Uh, you will find new ways to play. Um, I definitely think that they're going to come out with some busted cards. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they make like a Rota or something or like an E-Telly. Just summon a Cybers monster. Bam. And you can just you can go off summon a link monster. Um, so, just because right now it seems like you can only summon maybe once or twice or something a turn, um, that doesn't mean that forever you know it's gonna be like that. So just wait. I mean, when Dual Alliance came out, that was the first set with pendulums, and the pendulum cards were trash. There was Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and that was about it. And then along came, I believe it was new challenges after that, and Cleef Forts were introduced. They were the first like pendulum deck. Well, they don't even freaking pendulum summon. They maybe do if they have to, but that's the thing. Like that was the first good pendulum deck, and then Zephyr came out. I mean, Zephyr was pretty trash. 
and then we started getting the Draco Slayer, so we got Luster, and we started getting some better Perform Pal cards, and then we got the uh, Magician starter deck, and bam, Pendulums were finally like the best deck, and then Pepe obviously hit. So you, we have to give it time as well. You know it's not going to be busted from the beginning most likely. Uh, just looking at like the four or five cybers or link monsters that we have so far, there's definitely some cool things you can do with it, but you know they're not busted yet, but just wait because they made the new cybers type. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's like just some cybers deck that just can just spam link monsters or something like that. So definitely some interesting things. Um, another thing I want to talk about is are they gonna expand the extra deck? It's at 15 and see, I don't know because you need the link monsters to even go into like your full potential of the extra deck. But if you don't go into a link monster, you're not gonna summon your extra deck monsters as much. So your extra deck might be half link monsters, half like C, synchro, fusion, whatever. So I don't know, I think it should go to 20 just because with a new mechanic added to the extra deck, 15 is just not enough. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments with that. Um, but I want to have a healthy discussion. So if you guys have anything on the topic, uh, comment down below. And I'm going to reply to everything. So I think this is going to be really fun. It's going to slow down the game a lot. Uh, sorry for my horrible camera quality. I just, I was in my basement. I'm like, fuck it. We're going to do a video. But, uh. Yeah, comment what you think. I think this is going to be amazing for the game, but, you know, give me your viewpoint. Tell me why this is trash, why Yu-Gi-Oh is going to die now, but whatever. But, yeah, uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of uh, Team Red Active video videos, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. And, yeah, we'll see you next time.